After Percy had cleared the waterfall, he started down the first bend. The evil truck screeched on his brakes, signaling to the other trucks to hold back. The sun force pulled down on Percy's rear coupler, picking his front wheels off the rails. Cry Percy! Then the truck surged ahead, and with a crack of the coupling, Percy came off the rails onto the crest of the hill. His wheels, still moving, began to grip the side of the... Uh, began to grip the side of the... He jerked forward down the hill. The fog was so thick that he couldn't see where he was going, but the evil truck knew. He croaked. Percy tumbled and tumbled until he saw the outline of the cottage ahead. Yelled Percy. Sensing the impending crash, Percy's driver and fireman jumped from the footplate. Meanwhile, the evil truck had forced the train's brakes so he could stop and listen. A few seconds later, Percy careened into the house. From the top of the hill, the truck heard the sounds of wood splintering on the muffled cries of those inside. He began to cackle madly. madly. The evil truck gave way. The other trucks were horrified. They screamed. One truck said. Another truck added. But the evil truck didn't care. His laughter echoed over the hills and below to where Percy laid, battered and bruised, regret regretting, ever placed the evil truck in his train that morning. The tragic accident left a deep scar indeed. Percy was mended, but the lives of those in the cottage were lost. In disgrace, Sir Top Hat scrapped the evil truck immediately. From then on, he was very careful about the character of the trucks he bought to the island to prevent such an awful affair from ever happening again.